Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to a new series on my channel for a game called Staxel. This is the early access version of the game that was just released on Steam, and it's a creative farming game. So we're going to be moving into a brand new village, taking over their farm, and trying to restore it to its previous glory. This game has been described as kind of a cross between Stardew Valley and Minecraft, and you can already see that the art style is very similar to Minecraft, but it is so cute. Look at this little guy with his cat hat and his cat shirt. We are going to have to get our hands on that as soon as possible. So we'll start a new um, single player world. I guess there are quite a few options for a multiplayer experience if that's more up your alley, but we're going to go this alone for now. So there are other things that you can do here besides just farming, things like uh, bug collecting, mining, and fishing. So it kind of gives me some Animal Crossing vibes as well, but it looks like we get to customize our character to start things off. So we have uh, a male or a female to choose from, and a species too. Is that a caith? Is that what that says? It looks like it has some little ears. Oh my gosh, does it actually have cat ears? Can we be a little cat in this game? We can be an elf too and also a human. But I mean, we have to go with the one with the cat ears. There are different animations too. Oh, it looks like it might um, change maybe the way that they move. Yeah, the little um, hands move slightly different with animation one. I kind of like that one though. It makes her look very squishy. So we can choose a bunch of different hairstyles. Oh, there's some really fancy ones. Does this one have a tiara? Oh, that is so cute. There's different colors as well. I definitely want a hairstyle that's going to show off our cat ears to uh, the best of their ability. Oh my gosh, and we have a cat tail too. And wait a second, do we actually have paws? Oh, I didn't realize that. If we change on the color, Yes, it changes the paws and everything. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. Well, I think we're going to be a little a purple Keith. And then it looks like we can also customize the face too with lots of different eye types. Oh cool, we have the gold eyes on right now. Maybe we'll do this backwards and we'll give her a little brown eyes. Typically I give my characters the purple eyes and the brown hair, but we might as well mix things up a little bit in Staxel. Oh, I really like those eyes. Yeah, I think that's the one. I think that looks super, super cute. Oh, then we can change her shirt too. All right, that one's kind of nice. Oh, and there's the cat shirt. Oh, I am very tempted to go along with that one. Does this seem a little bit strange though, considering that we are kind of like half cat ourselves, that we're basically wearing our own face on our shirt? Maybe we should go with something different since we do have the cat ears that might be a little bit overboard, even for me. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. I like the uh, blue color to go along with those purple paws. We only have one type of uh, pants to wear, but we can at least choose the color of them. But I think I do prefer the uh, darker style, something to uh, mix things up a little bit in her outfit. And then uh, last but not least, the shoes. All right, should we get some purple shoes maybe? Yeah, I think purple would probably look best. So our Staxel character, our little farmer, is already looking absolutely adorable. And it looks like uh, we're all ready to go out into the world. Hello. We have a farm fan here, ready to greet us. You're new face. We don't get many of those around here. All right, achievement unlocked. Talk to farm fan. You must be Jesse Mew. You are correct, farm fan. On behalf of all of us here in Staxel, welcome. I'm farm fan, by the way. I really do like your glasses and you have that lovely shirt too, the little cat shirt. I've been sent to make sure you know how to take care of the farm properly. That was you, right? The one taking over the old farm? I believe you are correct yet again. Yup, that's me. We're about to uh, try our hand at farming. Excellent, just as I thought. Hello. Uh, Maximilian came in for a moment, but he decided to wander off again. I guess uh, we'll see him soon. So are you ready to learn a bit about farming? I can show you around the village and evaluate your skills. We need to make sure you know what you're doing. Then we can give you a farming license. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good to me, farm fan. Sounds perfect. Glad to hear it. First, I'll take you on a brief tour of the village. 
Then we'll head over to the farm. Okay, so I guess we'll get to uh, meet everybody. Hopefully it'll be a quick start to feel familiar. Oh, and if you manage to get lost, you can check your map anytime. Follow me. All right, so is this actually Farm Fan's house? Oh, she has a computer over here. A naming farm? Oh, is that if we get pets? Oh my gosh, I have seen screenshots of like the most adorable little animals and Farm Fan, I think I lost you. Oh no, where'd you go? Oh, everything in here is so bright and beautiful. Look at all these flowers. Oh, it must have taken them forever to decorate this place. And butterflies. I see other people walking in the distance, but I guess we should probably try to uh, keep up with Farm Fan. All right, it took us a moment, but we're finally here. So uh, where are we exactly? This is the local tavern. It's a pretty nice place to hang out after a long day of work. Rowan, the owner, can be a good source of local rumors. You should head in and talk to him. I think he has something for you. I'll be waiting right here. Ooh, excellent. We're getting a little gift already. All right, so we're looking for this Rowan character. There you are. Oh my gosh. We could actually steal from his cash register. Oh my gosh, and I can see my little paws too. And our little purple shoes. Okay, Rowan, we have to make sure we actually click on you because we don't want to uh, steal from you yet. We're kind of brand new around here. Oh, don't think I've seen you around here before. New in town, eh? I'm sure you'll fit right in. Here, this is on the house. A uh, mug o sap? Think of it as our welcome to the town. I hope to see you around here every now and again. By the way, and perhaps this might seem like an odd question, but is there a particular type of animal you like? Um, yeah. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I mean, I love dogs too. You guys know I love all animals, but cats are super cute. Hopefully this means that we might be getting a cat in the future. Oh, how lucky for you. A merchant came by the other day whose aunt's friend's sister's son had a litter. Oh my gosh. Are we going to get a kitten already? If you come back once you're done with Farm Fan, I might just have one for you. Good luck. Oh my gosh. Farm Fan, we need to finish this up pretty quickly. Oh, and there's our mug of sap down there too, so um, we can actually drink this. I guess, yeah, there it is. We're holding it in our little paw right now. Well, bottoms up, I guess. Might as well give it a shot. Maybe it'll help us uh, move around a bit faster as we uh, try to complete all of Farm Fan's requests. Ready to move on? Absolutely. Yes, lead the way. We are ready to uh, get our kitten, actually. Next up, let's head to the supermarket. Follow me. Okay, we'll do a better job keeping up with you this time. We're not going to uh, go snooping around anybody's house. Oh, hello. It looks like we have another cat friend over here, Rhea. I think her name is, and she might actually be trying to either tend to the flowers or uh, catch some butterflies. I bet we'll talk to her later, though. We have to try to keep up with Farm Fan. We can't get distracted at every single bend. Oh my gosh, you have the cutest little sweaters. Holly and Buttons. It looks like they all have different shops. Melissa, Leon, uh, Farm Fan. There you are. I thought I lost you again. There's the supermarket. That is a supermarket if I ever did see one. The supermarket sells many of the items you'll need on a daily basis. There's things like pet food, seeds, tools, and other handy items. While you were busy chatting with Rowan, I popped over to the merchants. They're just on the other side of the town square. Yeah, those were the ones that we uh, passed, right? They don't just sell wares, they'll buy things off of you too. You just need to place the item on the sell spot and click it. All right, that sounds easy enough. And we have some beetroot seeds now. Those seeds should come in handy, I think. We'll need to head to the farm so that you can actually make use of them though. This might be a good time to memorize the path to and from the village. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. I have a feeling I'm going to get so lost here. I mean, not just because I'm getting distracted by literally everything. Oh, hello. Hello, Rosemary. But also because this place does seem pretty big. So it looks like we're going past uh, some sort of inn to get to our farm too. We'll have to keep that in mind. I'm trying to look at like the major landmarks. We have big trees over here. Are we going like straight into the forest? That must be, um, Farm fan, are you okay? Can you not get up that block? There we go. She kind of teleported her way over there. Uh, she seems to be having quite a bit of trouble. 
At least she's figuring it out though in her own uh, roundabout way. All right, this must be the farm. Oh, it's looking pretty run down. Why do farming games always start like this? So here it is, your new home. It might be a bit daunting at first, but you'll settle in. You're a little ways outside the village compared to the rest of us. Hopefully your pet should keep you from feeling too lonely once it arrives. Oh, she heard about our kitten too. If not, we're just down the road and always happy to chat. Perhaps we should start by heading out to the fields? Follow me. Yeah, sounds good. We do have these beetroot seeds to a plant in here somewhere. Hopefully you have some uh, tools for us to use because I think we're currently empty handed. You can hoe grass to create tilled soil to plant seeds. All right, there's our hoe. If you hold down the button, you can charge to till a larger area. Give it a shot and plant the seeds I gave you earlier. If you lost them, you can buy some more from one of the merchants. If we lost them, what do you think we're doing, farm fan? What kind of person do you think we are? We're not just dropping our seeds as we wander around the world. All right, so let's uh, equip our hoe. And then I guess we use the left button to till the soil. There we go. So how many um, beetroot seeds do we actually have? It doesn't say, so we'll just till a whole bunch of places. And then I uh, will get to work planting our seeds. Achievement unlocked, plant a seed. Oh, it was literally just one seed. Okay, <laughs> just one little beetroot. Really, farm fan? Yep, really. Good job. Here's a little something to celebrate your success. A watering can and uh, 200 petals? Although it must be uh, the currency in the world. You can use the watering can to water your crops. If you don't water them every day, they'll start to wither. Withered crops won't grow. Go on, give it a shot. All right, so it's probably just like uh, our hoe. We just click on uh, our seed and water it up. There we go, another achievement in the bag. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Here, another reward. Oh my goodness, she's just like handing out petals after petals. Hmm, I think it's going to take quite a while for the crop to grow. In fact, I'm already starting to feel a bit thirsty. A note to Rowan. Could you take this note to Rowan and bring me back something to drink? All right, I feel like she's putting our skills to the test to see if uh, maybe we remember where it is. Might be good to see if he has any tasks for you while you're at it. I'll be waiting right here when you get back. All right, so we know we have to go this way past um, that inn over there. Oh, but this world is so gorgeous. Supposedly, you can decorate literally everything in this game. So this is all for you to redesign as you please. Wait a second, you guys. This is the tavern. This isn't an inn. For some reason, I thought this was some sort of inn. This is Rowan. Oh my gosh. Well, we have a note for you, Rowan. It took us a little while to uh, get to you, but we finally found you again. Good day, Jesse Mew. Is that a note for me? Hmm, so farm fan sent you to fetch her some more sap, eh? She drinks far too much of the stuff. Hmm. Tell you what, run a little errand for me and I'll see what I can do. Nothing major or anything. All right, just Rowan's order. Just hand that over to Leaf at the general store and he'll know what I need. It's an order I've been waiting on just for under a week. As you can probably see, I've just been too busy to leave the place unattended. Yeah, because I guess a uh, farm fan likes to spend most of her time here. That's a good thing for us to note, though. In case there is ever a reason for us to maybe give her a gift of some sort, she would probably enjoy a little bit of that uh, sap that we got from Rowan before. So he said that he's at the general store, right? This leaf person. So does he mean the supermarket? Yeah, there we go. Hello, leaf. He looks uh, like he might be trying to read a book but he's more kind of rubbing his face on the pages. That is not going to help you absorb the knowledge, I'm afraid. Hi there. I run the local store. The name's Leaf. Do stop by. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be here quite a bit after we finish off all of these quests. Uh, so Rowan has finally sent someone to pick up his order. Certainly took him long enough. Whatever it is, it's starting to smell a bit funny. I'll be happy to see it go. Oh boy. By the way, congratulations on your new pet. Everybody keeps saying that, but we don't exactly have a pet yet. Must be nice to have such a good companion. It can get pretty lonely out here. You look a bit confused? Well, never mind. I have something for you too. A food bowl? Oh, and pet food. These will definitely come in handy now that you have a pet. We sell a lot of useful stuff here on the store. Feel free to browse the shelves and buy whatever you need anytime. 
But for now, you'd better get that parcel out of here. I'm not sure how much longer I can stand it. Oh, geez, we better get this over to uh, Rowan right away then because we don't want our inventory getting all stinky either. Everybody is really, really excited to uh, meet our new pet though. It seems like basically everybody in town has heard of this uh, kitten situation. So I'm really excited to meet our new pet too. But here is your parcel, Rowan. Whatever this is, it must be something to do with uh, making sap. Ah, uh, this overpowering aroma. You have my parcel. I can't express just how much I've been looking forward to this. The entrancing fragrance, the incomparable flavors. Hmm? You want to know what's in the package? It's a special type of fermented fish. Oh no. Now our inventory is going to smell like fish. I guess that would be good for a cat though. We are just about to get our own kitten, so at least we know they're going to uh, enjoy our presence. There's only a few islands out there that produce it, so it's pretty hard to come by. I like to tease a leaf a little by having it sent to the store first. But enough about that. I imagine you're eager to get back to your pet. Or just, you know, meet my pet in general. Hmm? Oh, I didn't tell you. I've already sent your pet over to Farm Fan. Oh, she's been watching after our pet this whole time. That there is just a letter with some advice for Farm Fan. Make sure you give it to her for me. Don't worry about the sap she sent for you. I've already dealt with that. You should hurry on back to meet your new companion. Remember, you're welcome here anytime. It usually gets a bit livelier in the evening, so it might be a nice time to stop by. You probably shouldn't stay out too late, though. It's good to get back to your bed and sleep the night away. Yeah, that way we can uh, regain our energy, I'm sure, so we'll be able to uh, go farming, plant all of our crops, and uh, hopefully water them too, make sure they're nice and strong. But can we talk to some of the other people around here as well? I don't want to accidentally give him the letter or anything, but I would like to meet some of the other people around town, so uh, hello, Oscar. What have we here? Another troublemaker? Oscar's the name. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, and stay off the grass. Keep the mud to the farm. Okay, so Oscar is uh, clearly not a fan of us at the moment, but I bet we'll get on his good side eventually. Now let's hurry over and see if our new kitten is perhaps waiting for us over here with Farm Fan. We'll go ahead and get out that a special letter that Rowan wanted us to deliver as well. And hopefully you will be uh, willing to show us where our new animal is. Hmm? So where's my sap? You don't have it? Rowan assured you that this was all you needed. Oh, <laughs> she must have read the note. By the way, is is that letter for me? Yeah, it kind of is. Let me just take it off of you. Well now, he didn't have to be so blunt about it. Sounds like Farm Fam might have a little bit of a sap problem, huh? I guess he's trying to deter her from drinking so much. Oh well, nothing for it, I guess. You're lucky I'm a kind-hearted person, or I might have withheld your pet in retaliation. Oh my goodness. And there's our little cat house, though. Oh, we can have a little home for our kitten. There you go. I suppose I should teach you how to properly place the pet house, too. A hammer might be useful here just in case you place it incorrectly and want to adjust. You can place the pet house in a similar way using a tool. If you hold down the button, you can rotate it to get it to face the way you want before placing. Go on, try it out. All right, so let's make sure it's uh, somewhere very close to our home, which I believe is probably right over here. And while we're holding down the button, we can spin our little wheel to uh, rotate the pet house. But I think this is probably a pretty good location for it. So we'll go ahead and plop it down and, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Ivy, your name is Ivy, you sweet little kitty. Oh, you are absolutely adorable. It's a little brown kitty with like golden orange eyes and the fluffiest tail. Hello, sweetie. We have a little a food dish for you too, but is there any way that I can like interact with her? Can we maybe pet her? Oh, Ivy is hungry. All right, so do you have any uh, tips as far as what we're supposed to do to feed our cat? Ah, good job. Are you sure you're happy with that rotation? Remember, if you change your mind, you can use the hammer to break it. The pet will be safely stored until you place it again. If you hold down the button while placing, you can rotate it first. Your pet is going to get hungry pretty quickly, by the way. I think it might be a good idea to stock up on some pet food when you can. The supermarket sells many of the things you need for everyday life. I'd check there. For now, you can place the bowl you got earlier and fill that. Let me know once it's done. 
Yeah, I know we do have some cat food on hand, so uh, let's go ahead and place the food dish basically like right next to the uh, little house. And then we should be able to fill it with cat food too. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill it up. Filled with two units, an okay little one. You sure were hungry. Ivy is content now. Oh, she is the most adorable. And she follows us around too. I bet she'll follow us all around town. So we managed to uh, feed our cat. Great, now your pet should be good for a while. Hmm. You know what? I'm tired of waiting on that crop. Magic water? I imagine you're also getting a bit tired of looking at me by now. Oh, Never a farm fan, you can come over whenever you want. You see that jar of water I just gave you? This is no standard tap water. Magic water will grow any crop instantly. Cool, huh? Some merchants might sell it, so keep an eye out. It's pretty rare and expensive though. Pour it over that crop you just planted and get to harvesting. All right, so if we get this in our inventory, then hopefully our beetroot will be uh, all ready for us to harvest. There we go. Oh, even that is absolutely adorable. Let's go ahead and pull that straight out of the ground. Our very first beat. All right, farm fans. So uh, what do you think? Did we do it all right? You did it. Not as hard as it sounds, is it? The time has finally come to give you your farm registration letter. All right, so I guess we completed all of our main quests so far. You should head to the town hall to file it with Max as soon as possible. In exchange, you'll get a special package to help jumpstart your farm. As for me, I think it's about time I get out of your way. You can always look me up in town. Good luck. Oh, thank you very much, farm fan. Thank you for all your help. I guess we know exactly where to find her, though. It sounds like she is going to be uh, hanging around the tavern quite often. Oh, Ivy, I am so happy we have you. She is so cute. Let's see if she follows us into town. As we go to a town hall. Yes, she does. Oh, everybody is going to be so happy to see our brand new kitty. I love her name too. I guess we could probably rename her if we wanted to with this little naming form. But I am quite content with uh, Ivy the kitten. And we have some more people to meet over here too. We have Rosemary who we saw a little while earlier. Um, hello there. I'm Rosemary. I guess we might see each other around. <laughs> she seems a little bit shy right now. I guess we'll have to uh, get to know her a bit better. And don't worry, Oscar. We're staying on the path. We'll use the path correctly and we won't get mud all over it. I think uh, that's probably the town hall. It looks like the most impressive building in the area. So let's see if we can find this Max character and uh, hopefully give them our registration. Oh, Maximilian! That was the guy who we saw earlier kind of wandering around the place. Um, hello? Are we supposed to be back here? Max, we have something to give you. Hello there, we have to uh, give you our registration form actually. Now that I think about it, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm the mayor of this little town. Oh, is that your farm registration letter? How nice. Let me just take that off of you for filing. In return, you get your license and some very handy items. Do you want to turn in your registration letter? Yeah, certainly. That way we can uh, get to work farming right away. Marvelous. Here is your license. Excellent. Another uh, achievement unlocked. We delivered our letter. We also have a few extras for you. A chicken in a crate, some light wooden plank blocks, and a shovel too, I think that was. We're all looking forward to seeing the farm revitalized. Now that you're a fully licensed farmer, we can finally get those stray cattle off our hands. But before we can do that, you need to build a barn. I'm not really sure I'm the best person to teach you these things. I'd suggest you go see Eliza. She'll help you out with all the parts you need. You'll probably find her hanging around at the building store. If not, your map might be able to help you locate her. Come and see me once all that's done and we'll get you some cows. Oh my gosh, so we literally have a chicken in a crate right now. You're going to be okay with a chicken on our farm, right, Ivy? You're not going to try to uh, hunt this little guy down. And then once we build uh, the barn, we'll be able to have some cows too. And actually, let's uh, meet some of the other characters too. We can talk to Rhea, who is um, one of the same species that we are. Mia, new prey. Mia, I'm just messing with you. You don't look like fish. 
I'm Maria, just a local fisher. If you ever need any fishing tips, come see me. All right, will do. Hopefully she'll have a, a little fishing rod to give us in the future because I would love to try that out too. And where did Ivy go? Oh no, did she get stuck behind the door? Is she still inside the town hall? Oh, I don't think Max would be very happy if we left her behind. Ivy, sweetheart. Are you, uh, are you staying with Max today? We need to go back to the farm so we can meet our new little chicken friend. She is so curious. I hope she's going to follow me like no matter what. It seems like she keeps getting stuck on different objects. The doors, the benches. But we'll go all the way back to the farm and we'll see if uh, hopefully she can find her way back home. Because I do want to see if there's any way for us to uh, place this chicken down. So a chicken in a crate. Where do we put a chicken in a crate? I guess uh, just right over here. By all the flowers, maybe? We'll try placing this down. Sunshine the chicken. Sunshine the black chicken. Oh my goodness. You are so cute. Hello, little one. Sunshine is hungry too, so we are going to have to uh, buy another food bowl, I'm sure. Another little dish to uh, place some seeds in, maybe. Unless we can just buy seeds to sprinkle around. I'm not sure. We'll have to see if uh, all of the stores have closed. Because unfortunately, it's getting a little bit late. And we'll have to track down our mischievous little kitty again. There you are, Ivy. Playing around in the bushes and the flowers. We need you to come home, okay? She's still content, so I guess she's enjoying her little uh, play through the fields. Now, are any of you by any chance selling some items for pets? It looks like Leon might have uh, chicken coops, more chickens in a crate, pigs in a crate, some uh, trough food. Yeah, there we go, chicken food. That is what we're looking for. So we do have enough petals to buy this. We might as well go ahead and do just that because we do need to make sure that our chickens are being fed. But then we also need a, a food bowl for them too. And is there any way for us to chat it up with Leon? Since we're spending uh, so much time buying from your shop, we might as well get to know you too. Greetings, I am Leon. I sell many fine wares. Place the item back on my stall if you change your mind. I will buy wares you place on the small table. Activate it once you're done. All right, good to know. Wait a second, a chicken feeding area. Oh no, we just bought a bowl that we didn't need. Okay, so we might actually need to place this into that small table that you were talking about. So we'll place that down there, and then if we right click, we should be able to sell. All right, so we didn't gain back all of our petals, but at least we know now. We need to buy a special feeding areas for each of the different animals. So a chicken feeding area. Hopefully Sunshine isn't getting uh, too impatient. It is super, super late. So here we go, little one. We finally have some supper to uh, offer to you. It looks like she's actually curled up with one of the acorns. So we'll place down her feeding station right here where we uh, put the crate before. And then we do have some chicken feed for you, filled with four units. All right, I hope that's going to make you happy. Sunshine is content, excellent. So we've managed to uh, keep our animals happy at least, but oh my goodness, is it ever dark here. That's going to have to be one of the uh, first things that we work on as we try to uh, fix up our little house. Yeah, this place could definitely use some work. There's cobwebs all over the place. You need a hammer, broom, or scythe to break those. Well, we do actually have a hammer, so why don't we uh, chip away at some of these disgusting little cobwebs, clean up the place a bit so we can hopefully go to sleep and uh, get ready for the day tomorrow. So this game is absolutely adorable so far. I'm uh, really looking forward to... Did we just go to bed? That looked like the bathroom, but I think it may have put us to sleep. Well, that is what we wanted, I guess. Just a uh, roundabout way of doing it, so at least we know this is the room to go in when we want to skip the day. But yeah, I am really looking forward to us seeing what else we can discover in the land of Staxel, and I hope you guys are too. So for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!